First grade Belvedere Cup with Sydney Uni hosting Northern District. With both teams looking to get their season underway with a win, Uni batted first, Jack Attenborough and Nick Larkin bringing up a 50-run partnership in the 15th over. Larkin with the pick of the shots, the tall opening batter extended his arms to send the ball sailing over mid-wicket for six. However, Gray struck back with the district's first wicket, the leggy bowling Jack Attenborough round his legs with a score on 57. Damian Mortimer was next to the crease, the number three added a further 25 with Nick Larkin as the latter passed his half century. Before the introduction of Tunks saw the back of the opener, edging behind for a well-made 52. University then struggled as District's bowlers tightened their lines. Mortimer LBW for 14 and Jordan Gauchy chipping one to mid-wicket. <laughs> Left arm orthodox John T. Webb entered the fray picking up 4 for 27 in a classy spell. Will Salzman was bowled for 12 before Tim Cummins missed time to full toss. Ryan McElduff was bowled to a beauty that spun away to clip the top of the off stump, and Huna Verma missed going for a big six. Yeah. Tate and Devlin Malone pushed the score up before Roggie picked up his third of the innings. Sydney Uni with a slightly below par score of 182 from their 50 overs. University needed early wickets, but openers Scott Roggie and Cameron Tunks had other ideas, getting the away side off to a fast start. Roggie then took the game to Huna Verna, striking two big blows in the fourth over. Golden Arm Kieran Tate found a much needed breakthrough for University, trapping Roggie LBW, leaving District 1 for 43 from the eighth over. The wicket brought Lachlan Shaw to the crease and together with Tunks, both batters built a wonderful partnership with a mixture of well-timed shots and brute force. Both Tunks and Shaw passed 50, taking Northern District home with over 10 overs to go and securing victory by 9 wickets. <laughs> University will look to bounce back next weekend as they face Blacktown Mounties before Sunday brings the Kingsgrove quarter-final at home to Fairfield Liverpool.